on this game, like around this game ish. Like, even if it wasn't that scary, it would still, like, scare me for some stupid reason. Anyway, we have a uh, new. Ugh. What the f? What was that? I have no idea what just happened there. What? Oh, sh Hold on, I wanna, I wanna show off some new things. I wanna show off every single power in this game. How do I do that thing? Okay, that's out. Now, fire and stone becomes a volcano, and I should show off regular stone. It's just basically like, um, stone. Actually, it's like the metal ability in Kirby's Squeak Squad, except you can't do anything with it, you, don't, you can't jump. See, I'm pressing the jump button and won't let me jump. It's like a impenetrable defense kind of thing, and I keep missing that for some stupid reason. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cutter and Rock is like a reference to Kirby's uh, Dreamland 3. I almost said Return to Dreamland, but that would be a lie. It's basically all the partners that you could have in Return to Dreamland, and they have the same powers. Well, not the same powers. Um, well, they're just references to Dreamland 3. Which is a. like a game that I have yet to play, mostly because, like, I never even heard of that game when I. Uh, played it. When, when I heard about it, I mean. So yeah, you pretty much have all the partners in this game. Like, we have Rick right here. Um, we have the uh, Octopus, I can't remember her name. Uh, come on, show me something. Okay, we have Kine. He actually doesn't do anything, even if you're underwater. Which is, I find rather stupid. There's one more I want to show off. No, that's not him. Okay, here he is. His name's Koo. He's just basically a gigantic owl. And, uh, it's just like a little small bird, except he uh, doesn't fly nearly as far. But anyway, this one is probably the biggest one yet. Wow. Big dynamite that attacks everything on the screen. And has a big radius, which is why people don't like that ability, honestly. A couple of people, like don't like that ability. What the f- He just threw his bomb- I'm just showing off all the powers and I'm even progressing with the game, I hope you don't mind. Also because I, I do want to show off every single power in this game. This is like a ninja star, like a boomerang and bomb. Uh, did I show off bomb? Yeah, I did. Well, ah, it's very, like... Yeah, I think you have to be, like, in a certain range, like... It's like a ninja star. I'm not really sure how it works, to be honest, but it works somehow. Anyways, I'm gonna get bomb, mostly because bombs are bombs, and bombs are bomby bomb bombs. What? Okay, and these are Gordos, the classic Kirby enemy that makes an appearance in, I think, every single Kirby game, except for maybe, um... Actually, I think they never appeared in Kirby, uh, Epic Yarn, actually. I don't think, anyway. And this is electric. We become a light bulb, because that makes sense. A bomb and a light bulb, and lightning become a light bulb. <laughs> yeah, because that makes sense, obviously. Anyway, it's just normal electric, it's just basically this. I feel kind of weird explaining this, because like I said, It's like, it's a Kirby game, you should know this by now. But it's like, isn't there are people who haven't played Kirby games, like those stupid Call of Duty fans that I hate that game so much, you know I've never played it, I'm just sure you what people say, but regardless, um, yeah. Actually, I do want to keep electric, actually. Because it'll actually make this next thing easier for me. Oh, and electric needle! Yeah, it's just basically a lightning rod, essentially, except it hurts you. Well, no, no, it doesn't hurt you. What am I talking about? I'm, I'm crazy. Ignore me. I, everything I say is horrible. Ice and electric is probably the most broken thing in this game. It's a refrigerator. Now, the food actually heals you, and the food actually does damage. So, if you ever wanted to, you could just potentially beat the game with this ability, except for... 
Well, actually, if you wanted 100% it, you couldn't, because you actually need to lose your abilities, because you actually need to use every single copy ability in this game in order to beat it. 100% that is. Which I'm going for, obviously. But if you just want to play the game normally, just want to have fun, then maybe you could use this ability. It's not particularly, like, the best ability, like, not useful in, like, combat, like, the gigantic fire sword was. Anyway, there's a shard down there. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. I know I'm not. And down here. Before you go down, there's a nice maximum tomato here. And a 1-up on this side. Which is actually a 1-up. It's not a mushroom or anything. It's literally a 1-up. I... What? Yeah, the bosses in this game are real aesthetic, as you can see. And I, I think, aside from the first mini boss we fight, we get a crystal shard. I have a bad case of pink eye, therefore I am evil. Um, this is Adeline. She was actually a boss in Kirby's, uh, Dreamland 3. And actually, now looking at it, um, these enemies, they look like they were made from Kirby's Dreamland 3 now looking at them. Well, I've known that for a while. Well, not known, but like, I'm not even sure if that is supposed to be a reference to Dreamland 3, honestly. It could just be, like, a thing. No, I think that last creation she made, I think she was just rushing, honestly. But yeah, she's also a boss, like, like I said, she was a boss in, uh, Dreamland 3. So, this is a nice little reference to Dreamland 3, I guess. I'll kill you with... Uh, hot dogs, okay. And a spoiler alert, spoiler alert, this is the final boss of Dreamland 3. Kind of weird that she drew the final boss. Ha! My refrigerator beats all! And she'll just attack you. And you can actually avoid her. Here, have a drink. Wow. That drink must have been deadly. Darn it! But yeah, that's her name, Adela. Come on! Aww, I missed the card. I'm trying to go for all the cards. Maybe I shouldn't, but eh. It's like another me 